Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Planner Girl Meek here. Today we are doing another book review. This is the second one for my channel and I am reviewing the book It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. Um, I will try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. Um, but first, let me let you know this book review journal is from Plan A Happy Life. I will have links to that down below. Um, the fashion doll that I use, the redhead, is from The Clipped Crafter. Um, and then the girl with the braids reading the book is from Kezuko Designs. I did get the book um, cover from Google. No, 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 no. For Colleen Hoover books, I just went to her website because you get a better image and you can just drop, drag and drop it over if you um, are on your iPad. Um, and the flowers came from At Art Digital. It was a travel set. Um, and that's where I got those florals from. I just thought it was perfect because this is a continuation of the last book that I reviewed. This is part two of this book. And Remember I was telling you guys I wanted to um, read these books because they've been sitting on my shelf, but I wanted to read them because there's supposed to be a movie coming out soon. I don't know what the process of it right now because of the writer's strike. Um, I'm not sure, but I wanted to read it. I'm so glad I did. It was it was a very good book. I Same as the first one, I laughed, I cried, but this one had a very, very 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 happy ending I was so in love um and again okay the format that I read the book in I listened to the book on the audio and then I also read along with it that's just my process this is a romance book it took me let's see six and seven eight nine took me five days to read this book um, my favorite characters, because I have multiple, are of course Lily and Atlas, who are the main um, romance characters in this book, as well as the last one, but also her husband. You just got to read it. <laughs> um, but also, my other favorite co character in this book is Theo. Um, he's a, a new character that's introduced in the second book. And oh my God, Theo was hilarious. Like every time he popped in, he had something smart to say to Atlas. And I just, he was, he was like one of my, every time he came on the scene, I was like, he about to say something stupid. I just know he is. And he did not um, fail and had me cracking up laughing. Um, let me see if I can read anything that won't spoil it um in the back of the book uh it says Lily and Rao have settled into a civil co-parenting rhythm this is on the back of the book so it's not really spoiling anything um with their daughter Emerson and Lily suddenly runs into Atlas nearly two years later since they last spoke um elated that the timing finally seems to be right to give what they have together a real chance Atlas asks Lily on a date. So I'm not going to read any more from the back, but oh my goodness. So that was one of my favorite parts because that's another question that the book review page asks you, what was your favorite chapter? And I put my favorite chapter and why? Because they went on their first date. And oh my goodness, he did something so cute. I Y'all, I am so team Atlas. He he just he he loved himself some Lily. And listen, listen, it, it was just it was just a really good book. And I was very, very um happy that we were able to get a happy ending for Lily and their daughter her daughter Emerson. And um she she was, you know, she did a lot of stuff to get her power back. And I was really, really proud of her for that. So, you know, a lot of times you read books and you get like really mad at the character. I was mad at her on several fronts, but I can't say why I was mad without spoiling it. Um, she did make me angry for some things that she did in the first book that she continued to do in the second book. Um, and I wish Colleen would have, you know, wrote her character saying that she was doing these things, you know, to protect herself a little bit more. Um, but 
in the end, I think she finally, she finally got it. Like I'm trying to tell y'all about the story without spoiling the book. It's, it's worth it. Um, the spice level. Oh, I didn't put my little spice where I, I gave it one pepper. Um, it is spicy, but I have read spicier books. This is a very romantic telling of the spice. I want to say, um, yeah, so, because the book I'm reading now, God help me. <laughs> I had to take a break from that. I was like, oh, Lord, this, I, I, I'm not old enough for this. But um, it's I gave it a level one for spice. I gave the first one a two for spice. So um, definitely 18 or older. If you want to read this book, um, definitely recommend 18 or over. Um, I don't know if Colleen has any books with no spice I'm pretty sure she does I haven't looked into any of them yet but um I, I wasn't reading it for the spice the story was really good and I really wanted to see how Lily and Atlas kind of you know tied things all together with their relationship and we get more of Atlas's story um in this one versus we got more of Ryle's story um and the last one but okay I'm not gonna say anything else that will spoil it let's talk about decorating this spread um she has a flower shop uh that's no spoiler if you've read the first book you know that she has a flower shop I even talked about that in my last journal um so I like to incorporate something from the book into my um journal spread and I didn't write my review on the page. I use the dummy text, which you can Google that. Um, you can Google dummy text and then copy it and paste it onto your spread. You can change the font of it, however you want it to look, just so you can have it for social if you are a YouTuber or an Instagrammer or what have you. And you want your thoughts to be private. Um, I'm so, I think, who first told me about the dummy text? I think it was Lux Book. And I was like, oh my God, that would save so much time. <laughs> and it, you're able to keep a lot of things private and I'm able to share a lot more now that I journal like this and then I go back in later and put in my personal thoughts. But yeah, um, so I'm just sporadically spreading those flowers around and it looks so pretty. So the reason I chose this particular fashion doll um, because they describe Lily as a redhead. I'm pretty sure they do. I think she was, they describe how she looked in the first book and she was a redhead. So I chose between this one and another doll and I had my niece pick out which one she thought was the best one. And she chose this one. So this is Lily. Excuse me, y'all. I'm drinking some water. I'm trying not to cough. <laughs> But I wanted to put in a different fashion doll next to the book because it's showing me reading the book. I also, you know, wanted to incorporate me into the page. And I felt like this was a great interpretation of me digging deeper into the story of Lily and Atlas. And of course, y'all know me. I'm going through and I'm putting away the stickers that um, I've already used so I don't get confused. Um, she is a business owner, so all business owners, most of them, um, tend to have uh, merchandise. So I feel like in her coffee shop, she has cups and pens and probably sticky notes with her um, store's name on it. So I just created like a little logo and put it on her cup and it's called Lily Blooms. So cute. So cute. So um, if you guys have uh, f stuck with me in the video thus far, leave me a orange or red heart and a book emoji. And let me know, have you read this book? Are you thinking about reading it? And what book are you currently reading right now? Like, give me some, give me some book recommendations because <laughs> I mean... I, I have a ton of books on my TBR. Like my bookshelf is, I just went book shopping. I got a few books um, during the Prime deals. And then when I left the doctor's office yesterday, 
<laughs> I went to the. I was like, oh my god, that's such a cute bookstore. So I went to the bookstore and I grabbed like four other books because I had never been to that bookstore. I was on the other side of town, so I was like, ooh, and I couldn't resist because it was some books that were on my wish list, and I just grabbed them. <laughs> But, okay, so I'm putting this sticker down from Kezuku, um, and it says, Reading is dreaming with your eyes open. Such a cute thing. And then the script that I wrote out was Just Keep Swimming. It was a motto of Lily and Atlas's throughout both books. I wrote out a script, Lily and Atlas, because I am team Lily and Atlas all the way. And then I wrote another script that says, Dear Lily, Ugh. When you read the book, you know, that's my favorite part of the book. I just, read the book. It's very good. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend this book. Please check trigger warnings before you read this book. I didn't check the trigger warnings for the first book and um, I wish I had. But if you go on her website, it does have trigger warnings. So I'm always telling the ladies out there, please check trigger warnings before you read books, before you dive into something because books like this you do kind of get lost in the story and you want to make sure that you guard your your heart and your triggers and have your boundaries up so just want to let you guys know that um this book is a little lighter than the last one but uh still do that so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave me those hearts and a book emoji and let me know what books you recommend or what you are currently reading. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you in the next one. As always, carve out some cozy time to read a book, relax, journal, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.